really looking forward to seeing him live. So when he comes up here, you guys give him fucking everything, and then the, the better he'll feel, the, yeah. you, the better time will happen. Maybe you guys just get drunk and go fucking eat shit, whatever you want. So, starting off with your special guest spot, this guy. He's gonna bring him right here. Please make him the look of the one, the only, Mr. Wafik Nasral, everybody. Wafik Nasral! Hey, Ottawa, how are you? It's nice to be home. I was in the UK. Holy fuck, it's nice to see people without that accent. <laughs> I found out something before I left for the UK. My mom was telling me, uh, my name Wafik, which is Arab, uh, stands for friendly. And I really enjoyed telling immigration that when they were looking at my bum. <laughs> yeah, my name is friendly. This is awkward. <laughs> I think the funniest part about the UK, my friend Mark, he took me out. He said, we have to go to Scotland because the Scottish people are amazing. They're really friendly. You're going to have a great time. And that's when I realized, I think the word friendly has changed over the course of time. Because the people were really friendly. They were great. But there were some people I definitely weirded out. Like they would get out of their car, stare right at me, lock their car door, and then walk away. And I'm saying, man, I'm Arab, I'm going to bomb your shit, not steal it. <laughs> Lock the doors all you want, you're not going to find it later. <laughs> You're friendly. Lady. Hey, I thank you. My car's been towed. Nope, there isn't a doorknob. <laughs> That's funny. I love drinking too. The UK, they drink a lot. It was amazing. <laughs> I drink a lot too. You know why? Because I'm blind in one eye. Might as well see double. Fuck it. <laughs> It's the summer, too. you got to be careful, because they got the ride programs out, and they're always looking for the drunks. I always thought the cops went after the wrong people when it came to drinking and driving, especially like Friday, Saturday, 2 o'clock in the morning, 3 o'clock. Yeah, I think they should be going after people driving too good. You know what I mean? Come on, please stop the stop sign, driving in the lane at the speed limit. That's the drunk. Because <laughs> they're paranoid. The one swerving all over the road, designated driver. It's true, he's pissed off. You stupid assholes, don't give up the fucking car! I guess. <laughs> My wife and I split. Aww. No, don't be sad. We're going to find happiness without each other. <laughs> this time it's official, too. We took our rings off, changed our Facebook status. It's for real now. <laughs> we fought a lot. We fought in the UK. I was talking to her and I told her, like, I love the UK. I told her, because she knows I drink. And, and I was telling her that the, the people in the UK drink. She's just because you're there doesn't mean you have to drink. Yeah, well, why not go to an amusement park and not go on any rides? <laughs> or get a hooker and just talk. <laughs> Sometimes we fight, I wouldn't even know we were fighting. I'd just walk in on it. She'd have that stance, that married, pissed off stance. I'd walk in, what did I do? You know what you did. <laughs> yeah, but it might not be what you're thinking. <laughs> It's true. Actually, my mom said the F word in front of me for the first time in my life. Blew my mind. Anybody here? If you guys heard your mom say fuck it, blow your mind. <laughs> no? <laughs> okay, well, alright, let me tell you about my mom. My mom is super religious. She's got more pictures of Jesus than family. I'm 40 years old, and when I say fuck, she starts quoting the Bible. Says, God's wrote in the Bible, he does not like a vulgar tongue. You can go to hell for those words you're using. Shit, sorry, Mom. <laughs> so this is what happened. I go to my mom's place. She's on the phone. I don't know who she's talking to, but whoever she's talking to is really, really pissed her off. So I'm just, I look over at my brother. I'm like, man, Mom's really pissed off. Yeah, I know. Well, who's she talking to? Roger's Cable. <laughs> I know we've all dealt with him, but I wasn't expecting this. I swear to God, my mom pulls the phone away from her head. We can still hear the guy talking through the receiver. She looks at my brother and I slams the phone and says, Stupid fucking immigrants! <laughs> she said that in her broken English. I couldn't believe it, my mouth dropped, like, oh shit, mom, you're going to hell. <laughs> I had to ask her, why'd you say that? I mean, I've been waiting for you to say that word, but why'd you finally say it? She just looks at me and says, you know, if you speak English worse than me, don't answer the phone. <laughs> Last thing you want to do is call somebody, hi, I have a problem. Now you have two. <laughs> went to the zoo in Toronto. I'm usually really oblivious to things when I'm out in public. I got a two-year-old daughter, so I love chasing her around, especially when she likes to run around. We're at the zoo, so of course she's running around a lot. And uh, we walk by this big group of people, and my wife stops me as we walk by them, and she points at the guys in the group. She says, that guy, 
just called you a sand nigger. <laughs> what? Yeah, he called you a sand nigger. Wow. I said, that's really shitty, isn't it? I said, yeah, especially considering I didn't hear him. I don't know why he told me. <laughs> a really good day, so you did. We're angry at you, really. <laughs> It just seemed like an odd place for it to happen. It's a zoo. I mean, you come to see animals from all over the world. How the fuck does a brown guy piss you off? I mean, think about it. Monkeys are jerking off. Other animals eating their own shit. What the fuck did I do? Now, this is where it gets twisted. I think there's people in the, in the, the racism or organizations and racial KKK and whatever, and there's one guy that comes up with racial slurs. And the guy that came up with the N-word is like, everybody went, wow, man, that's a great word. Everybody hates that word. Look at it. You guys hated it. I hate saying it. And people just hate that word. So that's why I think they've derived people, other races, like Arabs, now sand niggers. Why stop there? Jewish people, good with money niggers. Asian people, can't drive niggers. Do it by country. Canada, nice niggers. Americans, ignorant niggers. My favorite, Germans, not nigger niggers. <laughs> Man, I hate saying it. I really do. I call it COVID. It's just fuck. <laughs> so I thought of a word that I think is worse than that word. And it also starts with that. It's necrophilia. Yeah. People have sex with dead bodies. You gotta be a special kind of ugly, don't you? I mean, get a hooker. If you're taking a shovel on a date, there's something wrong with you. I don't even know what scares me more about necrophilia. The fact that people have done it, or the fact that enough people have done it, that they came up with a word for it. Like a long time ago, it's called box thing. There's always some element of hypocrisy behind every race, racial incident, I think. I was watching this documentary on the early days of the KKK. This made me laugh. They got white people in white sheets and white hoods calling black people spooks. <laughs> Might want to check a mirror there, Casper. <laughs> then there was a murder in the States, in Texas. They, they, these, these group of thugs killed this guy because he was gay, and they hid behind the Bible. And that was the funniest part to me. They're like, it's written in the Bible, God does not like faggots, that's why we kill them. It's also written not to kill. <laughs> it made it his top ten list. <laughs> the gay thing is buried in Isaiah. Okay, that might not be a good way to put it. <laughs> I it up a bit. I actually, uh, I had one of these uh, really cool incidences when I was in uh, London. Uh, I was checking the hotel. I'm blind in one eye. I actually lost my eye in an accident when I was 11 years old. In the time I lost it till now, my bad eye turned blue, but my good eye stayed brown. So I have two different colored eyes. And I know that weirds people out, and I understand, because you don't see a lot of people with two different colored eyes. But I've had it since I'm 11, so I, I just enjoy watching the way people react to it. It's unique to me, and it's fun for me to have that, you know? And I love the way people react. Like, some people, like, they'll look at me, then look away like I have really big tits. <laughs> 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 Other people are like, fuck it, you got big tits, <laughs> and they stare. <laughs> and I was checking into the hotel, and I swear the receptionist, as soon as she saw my eye, was just fixated on it the whole time I was there. I was like, I'd like to check in. <laughs> <laughs> she looked at my face right at my eye didn't even hide it I didn't think anything of it I just thought she was weirded out then I went to my room she put me in a handicap room no it was awesome everything in the room is huge the remote control for the TV this big you know you walk in the shower like where's the remote right fucking there I couldn't lose it if I tried there was one thing I found really odd about the room and I've been in a lot of hotel rooms but I've never seen this the door to go in into the room, the main door, I guess, there's a peephole up here, where it normally is. Then there's another one down here. <laughs> people in wheelchairs who recognize people by their crotch. <laughs> Thank you very much.